got family, friends, yeah, everybody sins. A winner never quits, Santa a quitter never wins. Help folks in need, don't fall for greed. A jealous man is weak, so think before you speak. If you love him, let him know. If you hate, let it go. Fast can be fun, but sometimes you need slow. God is all good, the devil is so real. So listen up, y'all, cause this is how I feel. I won't back up, I don't back down. I've been raised up to stand my ground. Take my job, but not my guns. Tax my check till I ain't got none. Except for the good Lord of above. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Cosmic Deli here in Laurel, Mississippi at Sawmill Square Mall. Uh, Kinsley, it's a rainy Saturday, but uh, we're fixed to be eating good. We've yeah. got a full lineup of guests, and uh, we can't do it, though, without uh, some of our sponsors. we got to talk about them first. And uh, why don't you turn your microphone on there? And uh, it's on loud and clear. Okay, it wasn't a minute ago, but you got it now. Hey, it's all it's all good in the hood, though. Uh, we doing good, though. And uh, so uh, we're we can't do it without Central Sunbelt Federal Credit Union, uh, the Shabby Sheet Cake. Um, you got to remember. Uh, Hattiesburg Tattoo. Yes, yes. And the uh, Hub City Madness, which is going to be coming on later in March. Oh, yes. And uh, you got to remember those guys. Um, and so, also, Flickus Tax Service in Taylorsville. Right. I'm pretty sure she's really busy right now. She is. It's her <laughs> busy time of the year. So, remember those uh, great sponsors and uh, remember them. Uh, and so, um, after that, hey, Mitchell Voodoo Chips. And so... <laughs> You got to love those voodoo chips. You know, oh, guys, man. they're awesome. You got to love everything, Cosmic Dillard. And so, we got a jam packed show today, Kinsley. We're busy, man. Um, we're going to be talking with uh, Bill uh, Wilkstrom, uh, vaping, uh, vaporized. Right. And, you know, they vaporize. Uh, you know, I, I'm not vaping, it's called nowadays. It, right. it, it's an alternative to smoking. Some right. of you uh, may try to quit smoking. You may try. Uh, a little vaping, right. so as Tyler here yeah. does, and he might can tell us a little bit about yeah. that. With you know, every little bit helps. Every every little bit helps, and I wish some people would put their phones on silent, you know. But that's cool. <laughs> we are doing a live <laughs> show, but I ain't gonna name any names. Hey, it could uh, be worse. It could be worse. Hear a lot worse. Yeah, we, you know, but <laughs> it's all good. Uh, so welcome, guys, and, and again, thanks to those sponsors. I had to remember because we had to add a few this week. Yeah, we've had a very busy busy week. week. But Getting new equipment off. next oh, week, man, but yes. uh, you know it should run a little bit better than today's headache. <laughs> hey, you know it, it's all worth it in the end. That's all that it matters. is. You know what? We have to thank our our loyal listeners for you know just going through the struggle with us. Hey, I mean, anytime you try to start something up, usually there's little hiccups in the road, but you know we made it, and we thank them for still being with us um, this whole time. So much love to our faithful listeners. You know, we, we got a lot of listeners, and so you, you guys that, that listen to us each week, thank you so much. Indeed. Uh, you mean so much to us, and uh, we're glad you could be a part of us. And so, we're going to get to the phone line real quick, and we're going to give uh, uh, Bill a call, and uh, we're going to talk with him. And, uh, you know, we said we were going to do it, and we're going to make the call, and for some reason, uh, we're not going to catch him off guard this week, like we did. No, <laughs> not at all. So, uh, hopefully, this this thing will work. I'm trying to, to plug, plug it in Google Voice right now, and you know how it is. Uh, it's always uh, always something. Always something. Here we go. Let's make that call now, and uh, we'll get going with that. So, let's give Bill a call, and so hopefully, it will be ringing. Okay, here we go. We're going to be talking to Bill Wilkstrom here in a minute as soon as this call goes through. Okay. That's pretty cool, ain't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. All these neat features. Here we go. Beautiful ring. Great, ain't it? We're waiting for him. He may not recognize the call. Huh? Hi, this is Bill. Bill, how are you today? 
I'm doing well. How are you, John? Man, I'm doing great. See, he knew I was calling, and he <laughs> knew who it was, Kinsley. That's great stuff, man. How are you doing today, Mr. Bill? <laughs> well, I had I had a good I had a good idea. Let's put it that way. I heard. What was that? What? Your idea. Oh, no, I had a good idea. It was you calling, but I wasn't sure. Okay, yeah, <laughs> so that was me calling, so there you go. Um, and so, uh, you know, we, we appreciate you being on the show today. Uh, we're coming live from Sawmill Square Mall here in Laurel, Mississippi. We're talking with Bill Wilkstrom of Vaporized. And, uh, Bill, you, you have about seven or eight uh, stores across South Mississippi, don't you? John, that's absolutely correct. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for uh, for the honor and the privilege of being on your show today. And, uh, and again, thank you so much. Vaporized. Um, we have eight locations uh, across uh, central and south Mississippi. We have uh, one in Meridian, one in Lowell, one in Brookhaven, two in Hattiesburg, one in Wiggins, one in Gulfport, and one in Biloxi. We've been around for over four years now. Okay. Well, that was uh, that's very cool. You know, I first heard about, about Vaporized here in Laurel. The owners there are, are super cool folks, and, uh, you know, I never uh, had a puff before. And I went in there, I'm like, what is this thing? You know, I've never heard of it. It's kind of new here. <laughs> and they let me try this strawberry uh, uh, starburst, and it was outstanding. Yeah, um, for, for the for Barbara Charles up in Laurel, um, for people who aren't familiar with what vaping is, uh, vaping is basically an alternative to smoking. And we have helped tens of thousands of people across the state uh, here in Mississippi over the past four-plus years get away from smoking people who have COPD problems, um, people that are starting to develop some kind of sickness or disease from there. Um, now, there's government regulations that have come out that have made it difficult. It's hard. We, we're not allowed to say that it's, uh, that it's safer than smoking. However, it's scientific evidence. Uh, uh, just to give you an example, John, um, the U.K. public health system, right, uh, they, uh, they are transitioning their anti-smoking campaigns to vaping, if you go and look it up. So, and that's backed by peer-reviewed scientific um, evidence. You have the Royal College of Physicians, the RCP, and that's an esteemed body of more than 32,000 medical professionals and scientists who came out and published their results on it that shows that vaping is at least, at least 95% better for you than smoking. The reason they left a gap in there, by and large, is because vaping is very new, but and they're looking, you know, they're waiting on having long-term studies on it. So, you know, based on that evidence, they're starting to transition away from gums and, and gum and patches over to vaping, and it's taken, uh, it's taken good root here in the United States, but there's a lot more resistance to vaping, and people don't are having, it's a challenge to get the word out so people don't understand that there is an actual difference between using these liquids versus a combustible tobacco that produces tar that sticks to your lungs. Vaping is very similar to a breathing treatment, but instead of medicine, you'll have uh, you'll have some nicotine, and then you you know there's just a plethora of veil, uh, flavors out there worldwide. Okay, well let me ask you this: I know that we talked earlier in the week, and you were telling me about you know all of the things that uh, you know vaping is good for, and one of those things is weight loss, and I found that very interesting, and so. If you could, why don't you tell us about that? Because I mean, you know, they uh, Barbara and Charles let me ch- try that that Starburst flavor, you know, and I'd never taken a b- puff before in my life, and so it was it was pretty <laughs> unique. But it, at the same time, I felt like you know I had that sweetness uh, taken care of there. Okay, so we do have uh, we do have some customers out there that have discovered that vaping actually helps curb their appetite. All right now, I want to make sure I'm very, very clear on this. I am not a pro- medical professional. I only, I, you know, I interpret with, with the scientific evidence that I find. However, people, they should always consult their medical professional before they, if they want to uh, go into vaping. I, I have to put that disclaimer out there. That being said, we have customers uh, in all of our markets here across the state that have discovered and they tell their friends Vaping helps them curb their appetite because of the flavors that are available. You don't have to have a flavor with nicotine in it. There is, There are flavors available that uh, come without nicotine, and so those customers, they'll come in, 
and the fruits and the candies are extremely popular flavors uh, for those particular customers. So, Bill, a question for you. Um, considering all the information that you just provided, um, what sparked your initiative to want to be a vape retailer? Okay. All right. This is going to be kind of a, a long, drawn-out story, and I'll try and make it as short as possible. <laughs> so I retired from the active-duty Army in December of 2008, and then I went back and I worked overseas for another couple of years, uh, finished that up. I went to USM, and I earned a second degree. Uh, I have a bachelor's in business administration, and I graduated, and I was still smoking at that time. And I started getting away with it, uh, getting not getting away with it, but getting away from it. With uh, I started actually with blues at a at a at of all places a gas station because I just you know I was feeling the the wheezing and the popping inside my lungs and my chest when I would breathe. Yeah, you know, and so then that, all that talk built up. And at that time, vaping was very very um, new here in the state of Mississippi. There really weren't any. Um, shops around or any retailers around where you could purchase things and you had to by and large either go get stuff from a convenience store okay. or you had to you know find a site on the on the internet so as i graduated from usm i couldn't find any work i had applied across nine different states uh handcrafted several resumes wow. uh, to fit those jobs uh, across the way and i just wasn't getting any luck you know the economy was still in pretty bad shape and i said well you know why not? I got a degree. Why not be the master of my own destiny? And, you know, <laughs> and so I took what little bit I had left, and I founded my very first shop here in Hattiesburg, and then it's just it's grown from there. Okay. So have you founded that, um, all the work and um, the time that you invested to get the business started? Have you found that being um, beneficial? Say your question again, please. Um, all the, the, the time and finances invested into getting the business started, have you um, started to reap those benefits back as far as what all it took to get the business started? Well, and here's how I look at it. It's, it's more than just a, a, a business to me. Okay. It's way, way, way more than that. And there's nothing I like more than seeing people who come in and say, you know what, and they come in and they say, hey, you know what, Bill, thank you so much for helping me get away from cigarettes. Now, that doesn't, it doesn't always work for everybody. You know, we have some people, some people, they'll give it a shot and they stick to it for a while. And, you know, their success or failure rate really do is determined by their determination right. and their drive to quit smoking itself. Vaping will never be smoking a cigarette because it's not combustible tobacco with over 4,000 plus different chemicals in it. Wow. It's just not the same at all. It's okay. different, but you can make it work for you. And a lot of people, you know, and as I said, tens of thousands of people across the state have. And so for me, when I, especially when I have um, elderly customers who have smoked for a long time, and they're seeing a difference because within the first two weeks of your last tobacco cigarette, what you're going to notice is you're going to have an, an improved sense of smell and an improved sense of taste. Okay. And and it's just it's really it's really nice to hear how how vaping has changed uh, their health standards. And unfortunately, like I said earlier, you know we're not allowed to say how much better it is, but you can tell with the people. I, I myself was a smoker for over 20 years, and I was up to two packs a day. Wow. You know my lungs have cleared up dramatically. I don't wheeze and pop. You know, and, and I know that that does that for tons and tons of other people that have picked this up. Okay. So, you so in other words, you've seen um, the drastic result and improvement of people as far as how they feel. Is um, Would you say that would be an accurate statement? Um, instead of, you know, choosing to pick up a cigarette um, and resorting to vaping, it makes, do you, would you agree that it makes them feel a lot better by vaping than it would actually, with the actual cigarette? Well, they're giving me the feedback that they're, physically they are they feel better um, because, you know, okay, let, let me put it to you this way. Generally, a hardcore smoker, when they wake up first thing in the morning, is they will most likely go immediately have a cigarette, okay? And when you go to have a cigarette, the first, you know, when you have that cigarette, what you're really doing is asphyxiating yourself, right? You're depriving your body of much-needed oxygen. You're coming out of sleep, you know.